Uh, my battery is dying right now, so I'm gonna speak really quickly. Um, I do have exams right now, guys, and I have, oh my god, I have so many news and I want to tell you guys, and I don't have time, I don't have battery actually. But, uh, first of all, I do have Instagram right now, and I'll put the link down below, guys, where I post all the stuff that's going on, like, daily basis, my manicure, because I don't know why, but I got this obsession right now with the different designs and, like, art nail stuff, so I'll post... I actually I post a lot of stuff there and I hope you're gonna like it. This look is actually inspired by Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson and it's also like lazy cozy days where you just want to look fresh and just awake and just natural. Don't be scared in a minute I'm going to be without any makeup and I'm very tired and I don't have a perfect skin and I'm a human being. On a bare face apply your favorite moisturizer. To achieve this look, we need a light coverage, so you can use foundation or tinted moisturizer. I'm going for foundation today, and this one is Chanel Aqua Lumia Shake It. I discovered that when you actually blended it with your fingers, it looks more natural. If you want to have a flawless finish, just massage this foundation into your skin. Feel like you have foundation on your lips, just wipe it off. Alright, this is my secret. Instead of concealers and correctors, I'm using actually Stroke of Light by Bare Mineral. It gives you light coverage, it brings light to your eyes, it hides a little bit back under your eyes, but it still looks very natural. Well, and of course, if you want to use brush, just blend it with your brush. To keep this makeup through the day, and yeah, I do have a very oily T-zone, I'm using Trish Loose Powder by Makeup Forever. Well, yeah, bless me. <laughs> Today we're going to use a little bit different texture for your shadows. So we need a primer, and I'm using Urban Decay. These are my two favorite pigments from MAC. This one is Melon and another one is Stan. Take first Melon pigment, apply it on the back of your hand, then take a flat synthetic brush, dip it into the water and mix it with the eyeshadow. Well, now just apply it on your both lids and blend the edges with your finger. Repeat the same process with a pigment tan but apply it on your lower lash line. You can always add a smoky effect, just take a fluffy brush and the same pigment tan and blend it. If you want, you can fill in your eyebrows, first brush it, take a soft brown eyeshadow, this one is Wedge from MAC, and with angled brush, fill it in very softly. For long, gorgeous lashes, first curl it. Then take your favorite mascara, and mine is Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. To have a wide open eyes, I'm using Brown Liner by Bobbi Brown and Angled Brush by MAC. And line really thickly your eyes and wing it out. Well, now it's time to contour and highlight. I'm using Harmony Blush by MAC, an angled brush. Don't apply too much, you can always build up the color. 
To highlight my face, I'm using a little bit of highlighter, this one by MAC, soft and gentle. But one last but not least, Moisturizer Lips. This one is lip balm which smells, oh my god, amazing, from Urban Outfitters. And I'm using Tinted Lip Balm by Benefit. And you don't use you you are not what no uh, I don't have I I pff, talk and blah vlogging and rambling in the morning I'm really lazy and tired I'm like oh my god why I have to wake up seriously why I'm really thankful for your support seriously because I haven't been filming for a couple months and you always wrong you just give me so many. So many everything. I just really want to say thank you for support. Yeah. If I can hug you and kiss you, that's my big hug. Come on. We can cry right now. <laughs> <laughs>